make the annual trip to Walmart to get coolant. And a funnel. And a funnel. I see him. What? Oh my gosh. Yes. I don't think that's gonna fit my radiator. Uh, oh, well, uh yeah. No, we're not no get the smaller one. Or these. This one. Dude, right here. These are yeah, those are cheaper. Oh <laughs> So I get the type R. Get the type R. Uh -huh. Miata. Nice license plate. Shut up. So update. We had to make a pit stop. New phone. Yeah. Uh, instead of going back and working on the Del Sol right away, uh, we stopped at Verizon and uh, Jace just bought the iPhone 13. Uh, yeah. They didn't have pink, so I had to go with the black one. Yeah, because, you know, pink is for real men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, we just got back. What? We we just got back to Jason's house. Um, we like you know we explained in the video. We ended up uh, taking a extra. Yeah, we t we took an extra trip um, to go get Jason the new iPhone 13. So that's pretty cool. Um, a couple of the videos on the way here, um, or one of them, or whatever, um, was with the iPhone 13 with like the wide angle. It was pretty cool. But um, so now we're using my phone because I guess you know phone is using an iPhone to record as a easier than using a camera sometimes but um anyway so yeah we're back with Del Sol anything you want to say um I guess let's give them a rundown of it they haven't seen it yet okay okay so we have a 93 Honda Del Sol um not sure the specs on the turbo I tried finding that out earlier um 1320 headers, tile 44 millimeter wastegate, G plus radiator and plumbing, uh, B20 non VTEC engine, new as of February last year, uh, decagrams, continental extreme contact sports, a little interior shot, just some Amazon bucket seats, gauges, AM. But yeah, that's basically a rundown of the car. Um, three inch pipe all the way to the back. Yeah, now you guys can find out where I live. License plate's visible. <laughs> Anyways, um, my coolant reservoir is a two liter bottle. And when we were pushing 15 pounds of boost, this line came out and it wasn't pulling in any coolant. So it was pulling it in air. So now it wants to overheat and we're gonna burp the radiator system. Yes. <laughs> Make sure that's held down tight. Okay, so there is a little bit of a leak in the coolant. We're not exactly sure where from. I think it's coming up from the filter. Uh, Most yeah. definitely is. That's fine. Now we will start the car here in a minute. Yeah. Sorry if I'm shaking, it's a little chilly. <laughs> Indiana winter, man. You never know if it's gonna be cold or hot or whatever make sure well we probably might not be able to record this next part because we're gonna need both of us yeah the car is 298 e85 so it's not gonna want to stay running in the cold we need one person to stay in the car and keep running until it's warm and then one person to hold the fun okay all right so we're keeping an eye on our temp gauge our water temp down here i don't remember what it rested at when i first got it i think it was around somewhere of the uh 180 range but it's climbing pretty fast and I'm not really that worried at the moment because like I said the 180 range and we're really not getting on it we're shifting at like 2000 rpm so right now we're just getting it up to 10 you can see the smoke trail behind us I think 
our bleeding, our burping did help because by now we would have been overheating doing just this little circle around my property and his temps are going back down. So.
Uh, yeah, it's not even running right now. Actually. I just, just killed, killed it. it. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the last time that this car will ever be driving. Okay, so that was fun, but I'm smelling all sorts of smells now. Like cooked bacon. You know what's good when your car smells like cooked bacon? Whoa! Oh! Dude, oh! When it was over. Oh shit! Oh no. no! More air in the coolant. Yay! Well, I guess there's air in the cooling system now. Well, that's okay because this thing is up on marketplace for sale. If anybody wants to buy a Del Sol, <laughs> never beat on. Oh yeah, never beat on. Always taken perfect care of, just like uh, that car right there. But in the ad for the car, it is um, stated what issues are wrong with it. Uh, so it could be head gasket. It has a Cometic head gasket on it right now, but everyone is saying that Cometic head gaskets aren't the best for boost. The OEM ones are, and I can't find an OEM one. So if it was head gasket, I'd just go with Velcro, but I don't know if I really want to dig into it. So I guess we wait till the title gets back from the BMV. That shows you how long I've had the car for. <laughs> um, and then I do also want to find a cheap set of wheels to throw on these so that I can keep these wheels for my Miata in the future. Because I my plans are in January to get another Miata. I'll sell you the Miata stockies. That would work. Actually, those are 16s. Yeah. Oh, well, this was a good run, Daisy. Everyone, <laughs> Daisy the Del Sol. Yeah. I had bought this last Tuesday. Well, two, week, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. RIP. We'll update you if we, uh, if we come across to anything else. Mm-hmm. Yep. But I think that kind of wraps it up for uh, the dull soul activities for the day. Yeah. Uh, we might have a couple more little things. I don't know. But other than that, yeah. That about wraps it up for the dull soul.